how y'all folks doing today? It's, uh, it's early morning. Um, welcome to the cable company, Citizens Against Bad Law Enforcement. Bad law, bad entities are going to destroy the fabric of our country. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wake up. Ten. Can you see? Can you open your eyes now? You can look at and see what's happening to this um, to this world. I can see my vision. It's my my skin and on my arms and my legs, and they're all turning inside. And, and you know, and I see these mushroom clouds of blood, and it's bubbling, boom, 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 boom. And this is what I see. And it's myself trying to get inside myself to get room away from the evil. Even on this, uh, this, it's on this planet. I have a, uh, I have a little, uh, I, if I have your attention, um, I, I want all citizens to listen to this. Uh, uh, my mind's not working too good, and I've got to uh, go back and look and see what, what it is I want to get out there to you today. Um, the problem that we have, what we're facing right now, is doom. I hate to be that way, doom and doomsday, but, uh, you know, it's, it's just a serious problem what's going on. I'm an American citizen, okay? Uh, I got a driver's license, social security card, and all the paperwork you need, okay? I was born in, in Dayland, Florida, in Belusa County. First month of the sixth day of 1964, and um, my daddy, my daddy was a nonprofit, you know, nonprofit organization, you know, a uh, Sloan Community uh, nonprofit organization was the beneficiary of my dad's estate, and they got me. And I didn't get nothing. Okay, I felt like a millionaire. I was a millionaire until he died until 2001, because he made me feel that way. When he died in 2001, I got some, uh, you know, old personal crap he had, but, you know, something I keep, you know. But uh, when all my family on, on both sides, we, we got, they, they's military, you know. They go to, they go in the military, you know, and my daddy went to Korea, and, and uh, you know, and um, my, my grandpa and the you know, uncles and all them, they went to, you know, there's world wars and all that. You know, they've all been, you know, they, they um, <clears throat> when, when we had, we had, you know, Korea. And then in Vietnam, you know, you had, uh, the, the casualties was monstrous, okay? Everywhere you look, you know, there, there's a, you know, there was a damn, uh, you know, a, a, a just, a, you know, honor and courage and, and all that. There, you know, and they was in a wheelchair and they lost their leg or their arm, but that wasn't nothing like when you looked into their eyes and seen the stare, the dead stare that they had. I mean, just a living, reliving this tortured uh, atmosphere the whole time, the rest of their lives. And these people, they was everywhere. And it was, it was, uh, this is what I saw when I saw, when I went to sign up for the draft when I was 18 years old. Um, my mama cried, you know, and, it was my decision. I had to do. I just did. You know, I wanted to do. You know, it's, it's, it's part. I seen all that. My stomach was all knotted up and everything. I signed it, and my daddy was hugging me. He gave me a hundred dollar bill, and I looked and said, "I believe that was the best hundred dollars bill that he thought he ever spent." Uh, I mean, because I never got one another one, but not like that. Uh, he got paid double because uh, so that's what we believe. How we believe in our country, and and uh, I believe. I believe. In my country, and, and uh, you know, you have these certain inalienable rights. You know, your life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And I stood on these three principles. My <laughs> animals used to laugh at me about what the way I was about my constitution and and you know my patriot ways and all. But I have a, uh, I have a little, uh, a little little skit here I want to do for you. But you know, uh, everybody's responsible. Everybody is responsible for uh, we, the people of the United States, huh? in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, 
liberty, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. This law... Uh, this is the law, this law, this is the main law of the land. You know, this is which Hawaii hangs her hat on, okay? And she drags it down with the uh, appearance of the law. The general misconception is that any statute passed by legislators bearing the appearance of law constitutes the, the law of the land. Uh, the U.S. Constitution is the supreme law of the land, and any statute to be valid must be in agreement. Um, it is impossible for a law which violates the Constitution to be valid. All laws which are repugnant to the Constitution are null and void. Mayberry v. Madison, 5 U.S. 2 grand. One three seven one seven four one seven six and eighteen o three. Unconstitutional act is not the law. It, it uh, come have come first. No rights. It imposes no duties. Affords no protection. It creates no office. It is in legal contemplation as inoperative as though it had never been passed. And that's Norton versus Shelby County, 118 U.S. 425, page 1442. And no one is bound to obey an unconstitutional law, and no courts are bound to enforce it. And uh, this one here, this is right here, this is for the lawmakers uh, in Hawaii, okay? I want you to, um, the Communist Manifesto, okay? Please listen carefully, Hawaiian lawmakers. Number one, abomination of private property. Two, heavy progressive income tax. Three, abomination of all rights of inheritance. Okay. Four, confiscation of property of all immigrants and rebels. Central bank. Government control of communications and transportation. Government ownership of factories and agriculture. Government control of labor. Corporate farms and regional planning, government control of education. So I just uh, that's, a, that's why I just want to show you that right there. This uh, probably for, but uh, anyway, once upon a time, there's this big time, big time. Uh, you know, he's a big time realtor. You know, he he got he's a twelve million dollar man, and everybody, oh everybody, you know. Um, probably uh, 40 years on oh, before this young, this young uh, Jason Harris, is, he steps into the picture, you know, he's in there, you know, he's an accountant 101, and he's just, uh, uh, he knows his shit, you know, he, he, uh, he math so easy to him, he's like a gnat, you know, he's got it, you know, and uh, he, he's, uh, he's, uh, He's he's amazing at it, you know, and he says he's waiting around. And he says it. he looks at his real Rolex watch, man, because he's had a couple, two or three states uh, under his belt now, you know, and he's he's climbing up there. He's doing pretty good, you know. Uh, the people are worried about their, you know, their family members dying, they're suffering them through that, and, you know, and he just uh, he comes in there and works his magic, and, and everybody gets paid, and everybody's happy, you know. And uh, but so he looks at his Rolex watch, and he looks at the last breath. So the last breath that, that uh, Philip takes. But the last thing that Philip takes, the last thing he sees is his $12 million will that he's got. And uh, the half of it goes to his neighbor friends, and half of it stays in the estate. And he says, any of his thing, sorry-ass family won't any of it, enjoy any of his money. They're going to have to work for it. And uh, and he watches that sucker burn as he dies, and then all oh, them, uh, you know, and then uh, he young Harris, he looks at the dang uh, corner report, and he says, "Well, you're about twenty minutes off there, pal." He thinks to himself as he goes out and gets in his limo, you know, and he's and it's party time, you know. And now we, you know, they worked hard and got to work. They're working, they work hard, and you know, getting all this paperwork together, and they got it all ready to go, you know. He's got to send in the old, old Teresa. 
uh, writing fun, you know, and, and she's in control. They got the money, and well, they party, and maybe sit in Philip's house, you know, in his in his last table, you know, just uh, maybe even put his slipper on. Let's see how these are doing. Oh yeah, wow, these are nice, here, you know. And then uh, you know, well, they go on and. Uh, well, you know, in come my aunt and my cousin, and they got them throw a damn monkey wrench in there, and so uh, he sends in Miss Harrison there with the wheel, you know, and they got that, that's okay, we well, can see, they'll, they'll settle up, you know, it's, you know, it's a terrible organization, you know, what the hell, they need a big old facility like that, well, they want to sell it, <coughs> well, that's what everybody wants, that just works fine for We'll say what's up. The heirs ain't got nothing to say. You got you can't say a damn thing. You can't do nothing. It would, it would say something. They don't. They ignore you. Okay. So yo, you know, well, I don't care. It's a weather balloon, right? Okay. Well, there you go. This is you know. This, and what happened is the lawmakers have created this scenario. Okay. And so, well, the wall, the wheel gets stalled. So now, oh boy, this is, you can't see this. what are we gonna do? Well, we need to sell, 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 sell. We sell, 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 sell. And, and we're giving all these uh, all these poppers away. But you know what we're gonna do? It's all right though. If we do have any excess by the time we get done, we don't want to. But if we do have some, I'm gonna put it in a liquid portfolio. Uh, so we can disperse it to whoever the winner is. So we got still we got a chance to get it. Uh, cause, uh, you know, my, my wheel, that wheel is, uh, you know, it's a non-profit organization, but it's, uh, in real estate, it's buying big condominiums, okay? Why in the hell are you gonna buy a big, uh, you know, multiple complex like that for $225,000? Uh, and, uh, you know, that's what they do, that. it's on a lot of them, is, is that, uh, that uh, non-profit organization, that's a, it's just for the tax deal, you know, it's just to get out of the, the taxes, you know, and that's the same way with LASIK, you know, the LifeLink, LifeLink is a non-profit organization, you know, they're the ones that brag about tagging her, and they, you know, and tagging, they, they get you, they, they, I call them the happy hookers, okay, because they'll hook you up, but you need an organ, they'll hook you up, okay, they may have to cost you a little something under the table, but they, everybody gets paid, you know, them hospital, hey, who's going to pay for all this, well, you know, we got entities that do that, right, we got we had a charitable organization. They're going to give to them a state of tax break. Okay, thank you very much. Non-profit. That means you non-profit, okay? Uh, I don't see any reason why a non-profit organization would be uh, buying and selling homes and, and condominiums and shit. You know, I just don't... It, 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 that blows my mind. It's like a damn casino being a non-profit. I wonder if we got I bet we do, got, you know, because you don't have to be Christian, you know. My daddy just happened to be Christian. Okay, well, you know what? I lost my I lost my first inheritance from my daddy, except for a few boxes of tapes and stuff. I got nothing, okay? The church got it. Let me ask you this, okay? Let me ask you, how would you feel about that? How would you feel about LifeLink as a non-profit organization? If back, it just comes in, in the mail, you got it in your paper, in your heart, you even see you. Uh, electric company and all bragging about how good it is to be an organ donor. And these people have said they steal your organs because brain dead ain't dead, okay? But that's what they use to steal your organs. And they got four facilities in the state of Georgia and they brag about this shit, okay? So life ain't stolen, girl. Oh, God, I cried the cry day over her. Every day, man, every day. It's been over a year. I can't do it. I can't help it, man. And they took her out, and, and she, you know, 30 days before she died, you know, she begging me to damn help her, man, you know what the hell, I can't do that, you know what, uh, and then this is what it is, okay, and, uh, you know, and, and uh, okay, now I've got, now I've got another non-profit organization taking down my blood, you know, I mean, this is, that's a, that's a, just terrible, my blood, my bloodline has been destroyed, and destroyed since the beginning of time. And, you know, and it's just a sad thing. I cry. I cry for them, okay? I cry for everybody that has died because of greed, you know? And, uh, but you can't, uh, you can't violate the Constitution. Uh, and I believe that's what this, that's what's going on here. When you come in there and the government comes in there and takes your property away from you, and you ain't got, I ain't got nothing, I got no rights to it, you know, that's mine. Oh, why do I have to wait on that? Oh, what the hell? Who, who, who in that fucking right mind is going to go and take somebody else's property and stuff? If it does belong to that terrible organization, you ain't got no right to do that. That's up to them. If they want to, they want to sell that property, I guess they you know, they're in the business, you know, that's what they're going to do is sell it, okay? 
So I just just say, if you ever like casino, probably got them damn non-profit organizations. They ain't fucking the casino. What about that? Okay, I, I can go along with that. You know, free, you know, free taxes, okay? That's what that is, okay? That doesn't mean that some kind of them Christian organization or God-fearing people. It's just, you know, they may be God-fearing, but I, I doubt it because their morals are all, uh, it's, it's, un it's, it's terrible. I don't, I don't like it, you know. I don't know what they, you know, what they... It says, uh, you know, I just don't know, man. You know, what do, what do, what would gentlemen wish? Huh? What would gentlemen, what would they have? Huh? Is life so dear? Is, is the peace so sweet? Huh? They, they, like, God forbid it. it. You purchase it with chains and slavery? Oh, God, oh, God, God almighty. Oh, give me liberty. Or, I, I don't know what... Others, uh, um, other colors, others may take. But as for me, give me, uh, give me liberty or give me death. Oh, God, I used to know that so beautifully. It's such a wonderful, it's such a wonderful thing to my, my people. And, 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 and you know, my, it was, a, it was the cry, it was the cry. Uh, I wish I had. I wish I could remember, but uh, my mind is going out just like that, and uh, you know, and I as well, I should have studied over it, but uh, you know how it is. And, but anyway, um, just, just don't don't get don't lose the point of what I'm trying to say. I, I mean, I want to make I want I want you to and en en enjoy the enjoy the little skits that I do. Um, and, and, you know, you can't, I know you, you want to see how, uh, what the hell is going to happen to this crazy idiot now, okay, well, uh, I'm telling you, uh, they're, they're gonna, it's gonna, I got some property in the day, and, uh, I just got another package in, and they got these up for, to set, to sell for December, I haven't, I haven't checked them out or whatever, you know, but, it's probably another big facility, you know. That's what he done. He just was amazing. That's amazing, you know. I just, I did, I've done, uh, I've done a lot of things, uh, you know. I've had a couple businesses, you know, that's, uh, you know. And that's why we always had to, you know, I'd get the big water slide and all that. And I never may, I fell through, you know, a couple, two or three times. But, uh, you know, it's just uh, like comedy hit me or something. It just, it hit. There was always something that, that, that took me down. Five dollar gas prices, you know, last time. And, and then, you know, it kind of, so I got hurt and it, it really messed me up. But, uh, you know, it, it's in our blood. My son's got his little drink boxes and stuff. And we just, it's, uh, that's, uh, it's just, that's my people. And they're just taking my people's shit. And, uh, you know, you know, he just took it away. Okay, here, no, they give it to me to look at. Here you go. This is yours. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, um, come get me. I'm waiting on you. D -d 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 -d. All right, well, you know, tap into the bank. Pay yourself double. Come get me. Come get me. Come on. I'll make it back. You know, come on, get me. Well, uh, guess what? Nobody come get me. Oh, what the hell? Why not? Okay, well, they can't because the government's going to step in there and take me. And take and take on property. Um, but anyway, uh, if you think that's wrong, anybody thinks that's wrong. Uh, I need a dang lawyer, man. I need a lawyer. I need a, I need uh, a transportation. I need to get over the way. I need somebody to stand with me, hold my hand, make sure I don't go to jail. Um, you know, <laughs> uh, say the right things for me. You know. And uh, let's uh, get this property back. Let's get somebody with like Donald Trump's enterprises, uh, kids. You know, and, and let this, you, let's mess with a billionaire. You know, let's put. You know, I know. I noticed they did. They have. Maybe they are listening to me. They got some. Um, they got a guy. One of the companies uh, from uh, Las Vegas, and they chunk, uh, chunk run price. When I seen some prices up on price. I mean, all the prices need to go up about ten, at least ten percent, twenty percent. I don't give a fuck who likes it. And just, you know, it's not right, man. You just uh, way they're way under value, I believe. Uh, I ain't seen no new appraisers. Uh, I want to see some new appraisals. There's none. I don't have none. You know, I don't want to look. No, I don't need. I don't want to look. I want to see the appraisals. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
I said, well, I, I just need to, you know, I want to see them. I said, I do. I want to see them. I want to, you know, I want, I want to. The language has got to be all right. And it, I don't care. If I can stop it, I'm going to stop a property from being sold. I, I just, I mean, I, I'm down. I'm getting paid this many um, all the way until I, mean, yeah, I get paid. You know, I get my million dollars. I go, I shut up and go down. I go away, man. I, I shut up and go away. I get my damn million dollars. I go, I go away. If, I, if that's what my my family want, don't want to help fight for this shit. And and okay, well you know I'll just go away. Give me my million dollars and I'll go away. And, and I, I gotta go after this hospital. But I'm not leaving without my million dollars. I want my million dollars. Okay. All right, then. Well, you can write to me if you want to. Miss Larry, no senior. 301 Harbert Valley Road, Coa, Georgia, 30577. Write me today. Tell me what's on your mind, and I'm going to tell you what's on mine. Come on back and see me, okay? Bye-bye.